Hey Libra, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Sunday, January 3rd. Let's see what's going on with Libra. At the heart of your reading, we have the Two of Potions reversed. This is two people or individuals taking a step back from a commitment. Um, it might be a business partner, it might be a, a friendship situation. Um, I am getting the sense that it's against you, uh, not against your will. They're correcting me. That has a, too much of a negative connotation. It's not like you're being forced. What is it? It's like the, the conditions are inhibiting you from the closeness that you would both prefer. The conditions are inhibiting the closeness that you would both prefer. Okay, let's see. The challenge is the nine of candles reversed. Well, this is giving up. The nine of candles reversed is I've had enough and I can't take this anymore. Well, if conditions are keeping you apart, the resistance might be to the separation. So we'll see how the reading shapes up. I'm not getting that this is, I, I, almost always that for me, the two of potions, two of cups reversed is pseudo breakup energy. But in this instance, I'm, I'm really getting a different read off of it. The energy is totally different. Let's see what you're focused on. What are my Libras focused on? King of Needles reversed. You don't really understand the situation. You feel like you should be able to understand it and you just don't. I'm trying to zero in on the energy that I'm getting off of this nine of candles. It's not frustration. It's something close though. It's like exhaustion. It's exhaustion. Whatever is keeping you guys apart and I'm getting, I'm getting like your best friend. It feels like a best friend energy. So that could be romantic. Um, like you could be a romantic partner with your best friend. Um, like uh, you guys know what I mean by that. Or it could be a platonic best friend. But the separation is leaving you exhausted. So this may be someone who really um, used to help keep your energy levels up. And without that connection, you're just feeling drained. Whatever it is, it... You don't quite understand it. You might not understand why or you you feel powerless to um, to change it. Like it, it, bringing all your wits to bear on the situation is still ineffective. In the recent past, we have the chariot. Now, it almost wanted to turn over, so I'm going to read it both ways. Um, it might be that this is the stuck energy in the situation of um, feeling this, this need to be apart from your person. If it's um, upright, then one of you might have been compelled to leave the situation for reasons unrelated to the person like um okay so it could be a lockdown situation you're just not able to see your bestie face to face or it might have been something uh like a bigger life choice that was made one or the other of you might have moved or 
taken a different job so you're not working side by side anymore. Let's see the energy of the environment. Okay, so we've got a pair here, King of Needles, Queen of Needles. You, I, I am not getting so strongly that this is romantic. It, it may very well be, but okay, here's what I want to get at. If this is a romantic partner, we're not talking about the romance of the situation. We're talking about the friendship. Does that make sense? It's like the the important factors that we're talking about here is the companionship, the like the emotional support, the the togetherness, the the having your cheerleader, having your bestie by your side. Um, but you guys are a perfect pair. <laughs> The energy of the environment is the queen of needles, which is helping you gain that clarity that you feel like you're missing with what you're focused on right now. It's, um, it's universe pointing you at the clarity. So look for synchronous synchronicities, look for um, new information to come to light. Universe is trying to communicate with you through your environment. It could come through people. Uh, it could come through media that you consume. If you feel compelled to watch a certain show or listen to a certain song, there, there's going to be some sort of helpful message in there for you that will help either uh, relieve your exhaustion or help you understand why this is happening or help bring the two of you together. It's going to improve the situation somehow on a mental level. In the near future, this is all about to change. There's going to be a major meta metamorphosis that you step into. Um, I get the situation that this is... I get the situation? Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself with my words here. I get the feeling that this is related to the situation and not to, um, to the whole of your life, if that makes sense. Typically, the death energy is like, you as a person would be stepping through this uh, enormous life shifting experience. I'm again getting something totally different off of the card for this particular spread in that I feel like this is a total shift of the conditions as they exist right now. Not necessarily of everything in your life. Things are about to transform for the better. So think um Look for ways to engage with the changing landscape. Let's see your surprise energy. We have the Ace of Needles. There will be an opportunity to uncover some hidden truth here. This is speaking directly to your desire to understand the situation better. It's saying um, universe is injecting truth. Look for it. Be open to it. Um, in whatever manner you remain open to communication from spirit, listen. If that's meditation, if it's prayer, whatever your practice, you, your spirit guides want to communicate with you. They want to help you. They want to give you a measure of clarity that you're seeking. An important part of seeking is listening. So don't just ask. Set aside the time um, and some sort of practice could be journaling whatever you feel drawn to it, it needs to be listening some sort of listening spiritual listening okay moving on to your hopes and fears what are we hopeful for you guys listening <laughs> we're on the same page here libra you are hopeful that you'll be able to listen, that you'll, you will hear the guidance that's available to you. Um, this reversal says you might, um, you might be leaning on that hope because it's the situation feels daunting. You're exhausted. You might be spiritually exhausted as well. Just try to stay optimistic. Let's see the end result. How do these energies culminate for Libra? More Ace energy, but again reversed with the Ace of Candles. It's saying these opportunities from Spirit are going to be... 
they're not going to be blatantly in your face. It's something that you have to, it's, it's going to be like a whisper. You really have to be listening. I don't know how else to put it. That's a metaphor, of course, but in whatever sense you listen, you have to, you have to like be energetically reaching out for the answer and then remain in a receptive state. Okay. Um, that ace of candles represents a newfound passion, a newfound motivation. You're centered on um, what lights you up inside. It's, it's hope. So it can be the beginning of the glimmer of a new hope here for you. Oh, I'm seeing some other kind of poetry here with the, the nine of candles being your challenge and then the ace of candles showing up. Ten is the ending of the tarot cycle. So that may be just what you need in order to release the burden that's your obstacle right now. It could be like that, that missing piece, add one to nine, you get 10, and then you're done. Let's get you some advice. How can my Libras best make use of these energies for their highest and best good? Stay aligned with divine timing and trust that things are all happening for you. Um, we have a tendency to view the world as though it's happening to us. And remember that this is happening for you. Um, it's aligning you with what comes next. It's helping you to wrap up an old cycle and some things might need to be cleared away. Um, there is going to be a reward at the end of all of this. So stay receptive. That's more of that encouragement to stay receptive is that not only can you glean truth and clarity and understanding from the situation if you remain receptive, but you can also receive uh, spiritual reward, monetary reward, 3D re rewards here. So there's a big payout potential here if you remain aligned and patient and receptive. All right, Libra, I hope this helped. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.